All right, everybody, welcome back. Southern Bells here. Listen, I want to run a side-by-side -side comparison between Firestorm Viewer for Second Life and Genesis. Genesis is a better viewer. Personally, I love it. Uh, I don't like Firestorm. That's personal. But that's not the nuts and bolts of things. I want to get down to the to the to the real test so I thought I would do this and just see what happens I may not post this video but we're gonna see uh, our operating system is Linux 20.2 cinnamon we're running the 507 desktop 540131 generic kernel we have three AMD Phenom 2 processors and we're using the 1050 Ti GTX card so that's my system info uh, I think that's important for these videos is to make sure you know what I'm running it on. Uh, we're also running this under Wine. Uh, not the one, there's an update for Wine that came out today. I have not applied it yet. So I have not run this under 7.0.1. Focal Dash 1. I haven't done it. This is the new one. I'm running the one before this. So... If you are watching this video, this is not the one I'm using. This just came out today. I may not apply this update because I don't have issues with wine right now. Usually on Mint or any Linux system, I won't update something unless it's causing problems or it's a deficiency that I need to add. So I'm not going to worry about that. Right now, running OBS stream recording. We're just recording. Uh, we're running about 51, 38, 34, 35, probably around 35% processors, somewhere in there. And we're running uh, 19, 20% memory. I've got 11, uh, 12 gigs total, 11.7. We're running 2.3. That's just idle, sitting still, doing nothing. I'm stream recording, but that's all I'm doing. Steam is up in the background. That's going to take a little. So, let's get on with this. First thing we want to do is we want to run the dreaded dragon firestorm. <sighs> Open in terminal. I want to run it. I'm running it in a terminal. That's Linux. And we'll let the viewer load. And we got a spike when we loaded, which is expected. 24.4% uh, on memory. Uh, that processor settling down. So let's go ahead and log in on Jill, my favorite character. Actually, I have a vampire like better, but I play Jill more. It's nothing like a vampire. Everybody likes vampires, right? Okay. So, we got Jill loaded in with a famous orange firestorm cloud of death. Did voice load? Voice did load. Voice has not been loading for me with Firestorm. I have had hell getting voice to load. Just for shits and giggles. No, nah, I'm not even going to try it. Anyway, it, the white dot's there. I'm assuming I have voice. But I haven't had voice. That's new. So I don't know what they did. I haven't got an update. But I complained about it. Anyway, system monitor says, Running Firestorm on three cores. 54, 58, 54, spike to 65. It's about 55%. 55%. I'm still seeing 55%. 31.1% memory. That's not bad. I can live with that. That's good memory. Uh, I don't like the viewer, but I'm looking at the numbers. I'm giving it a fair shot. So we're looking at about 
54, 56, 54, anywhere from 50 to 60 percent. So I'm going to say, I'm going to be fair. I'm going to say 55 percent. 55 percent. Now, it doesn't matter if we go somewhere, if we do something, um, we can take a little trip to, uh, let's just go to Sandbox. No, Sandbox. There we go. We'll go to the Public Sandbox just to bring in some more scenery and stuff. Here we are at Sandbox. Different simulator version. Okay, well. Right, let's fly a little bit. Let's see what we're running. 60, 56, 56, 57. 59, 57, 63, 59. It's going to average about 60%. I'm going to say 60%. You get these little spikes when you teleport. You're going to get these little 100% spikes out of one core or another. It's going to happen. But I'm going to say on the average, 60%. I think that's fair. Uh, memory's 33.1%. That's not bad. 33%. Hell, well, anybody can live with 33%. Uh, so, as far as memory and processor, that's what we're looking at. Now, that's Firestorm. Uh, let's go ahead and leave Firestorm. Can't believe voice. Voice. <laughs> I can't believe voice loaded. Voice hasn't loaded in Firestorm in a long time for me. That's weird. Uh, so, let's exit this out of the terminal. And we shall find uh, hidden files is open. Oh, wrong box. Sorry. Let's go down to Wine. Uh, drive C. Program files. Genesis. We shall run Genesis under Wine because that's where I ran uh, Firestorm under was Wine. Both these run under Wine. So I wanted to do, do it fairly. Now I have installed the installer in Steam. And I want to know what those numbers are. Because I wonder how it acts with Proton over Wine. We'll see. Joe Carfield will log the viewer in. And this is Genesis. I love this viewer. I love the style. I love the layout. I love the look. Uh, no, disable that. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's pull our monitor up. 97, 91, 95. We're still up there. Things are still loading in. I see stuff resin. Uh, memory is 44%. What did we say? 30 35 on the other one, I think. Um, let me block text. Um, 73, 73, 79, 75. Let's go home. Well, I said let's go home. Uh, well, crap. Let's just do it this way. Teleport home. Set teleport to here and teleport home. It's right next to each other in this viewer. And I appreciate that more than anything. Uh, in Firestorm, you literally have to go down half a menu to find teleport home. It should be next to create teleport. I really like the way the devs lay these menus out. Uh, it's so much better. So let's take a look at our monitor now back at home. 75, 74, 79, 70, 68, spike to 82, 75, 74, so, 
89. Just walk in the house where we're not as much uh, stuff going on where we started. Let things settle down from here. Looks like 70% on the average. What were we getting? 60% before? So, slight increase in processor, but it's still more than runnable. Um, even with a 10% increase, it's more than runnable. So, I'm happy. I'm, I'm really happy. 38% uh, on the RAM. And what were we before? 36? 35? 38% that's more than playable processors are settling down to closer to to 70 a few spikes you're gonna get that I can't help it just you just gonna get it on anything so that's not bad I like that that's a good comparison Genesis runs just as clean uh, I, I love it I don't like this bar up here that's just me personally. I don't like this bar in my way. This bar shouldn't be here. I don't. I don't like that. I don't know what that's for. I don't even care. It's just in the way. Um, that's me personally. You can play with that bar if you want to. Um, so now let's see what we get running under Steam, because I have made videos on how to run this under Steam. So I want to do a fair comparison. We did both of them under wine. Now I want to see what Steam brings to the table. I'm going to let this settle just a second. My fans kicked in. There we go. Now we're dying down. Guys, please remember to follow and, and like these videos. It, it encourages me to make more. The more likes I get on something, the more I know you want to see that particular type of content. So this helps me decide what to do. So let's fire up Genesis and Steam. We'll log back in the same character. Maybe do a teleport or something just to see what happens. But I'm surprised that the numbers are, uh, are that close together. The devs did a great job of uh, putting this viewer... Uh, in line comparatively with uh, with the competition, and I think that's that's how you get a product out there. Uh, you you make it comparative to the to the competition. Uh, Ten points, five points, whatever it was, more in processor. Shit, I can live with that. I play this game all day, some days. It it runs great. Genesis is just a good viewer. I like it over Firestorm. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's pull up our monitor. Things are still loading in and resin. Still got that login spike. I'm trying to make this video short, but it's hard to do. Now we're settling back down. Uh, 59, 61, 60. 50% of memory. Steam's using 20% more memory easily. Because we were at 36, 31 to 36, depending. So, 50, uh, 20 points more memory. So, if you run this through Steam off of my video that I made, remember, you're going to use a little more memory. Uh, Steam uses a little more memory. So, now at least we have a comparison between Steam and running it through Wine. I think it ran a little choppy through Wine, so I ran it through Steam. Proton seems to smooth that out, and I liked it better, so, yeah, that, that's my take. So, we've got 82, 59, 69, 64, 58. I'm not seeing any difference. Um, it's 58%. I said 60 Five, roughly, on the average, I'm, I'm, that's back up to 78 and then back down to 50. So the cores are spiking a little bit. I'm going to say it's not, it, there's, there's no difference. Other than 
the RAM use to Steam. Steam uses more RAM. And that's even dropped to uh, 53 now. Or it's up to 50, 54, now it's back to 50. So, yeah, it's going to fluctuate. But processor-wise, RAM-wise, there's no difference. I don't see a difference. If you see a difference, leave it in the comment and tell me. I see a difference. Here's what it is. I don't see a difference. I just don't see it. So, I think that's a pretty fair test of uh, both viewers uh, running the exact same way and then running one through Steam. Um, that's that's a pretty good test. I thought it looks good. Uh, I don't see a difference between any of it. Uh, if you like this video, like. Tell people about it. Follow me. Subscribe. I appreciate it. Uh, if you want to see more content like this, give me a comment. Let me know. Um, if you want to see something different, you want me to review a game, put it in the comment section. If you don't tell me, I don't know. I'm done. Y'all guys have a great day. I'll talk to you later.